Today I have Pantech's first Android phone. This is the Pantech crossover and we're gonna do a full review on this bad boy. From the outset, this phone looks like it's a sporty device. It has rubberized buttons here. One is a lock power button, the other is a function button, a handy function button that uh, contains all of your most recent applications or your favorite applications. We'll get into that later. Uh, this is also a sliding QWERTY keyboard phone. So it has a full QWERTY keyboard. I found it to be fairly intuitive. Um, button real estate was good and um, buttons were easy to press and access using the, the Alt key. We also have a 3.1 inch 320 by 480 HVGA screen with 262,000 colors. I have to admit this screen brought me back a few years as far as quality. It's definitely not one of the higher end screens but it gets the job done. A few things I like about the design of the crossover. I like its octagonal sporty design. It's unconventional. I also like the enclosed USB terminal here and I like the fact that we have our own dedicated camera button. Also we have a 3 megapixel camera on back. There's no flash, no front facing camera. So very basic when it came to image quality, image still image quality, bright light, some shots looked really good. Uh, most shots were mediocre. Video quality, 800 by 480 resolution, um, same thing. Video quality is very mediocre to poor, so don't expect a, a good imaging performance from this phone. In back, let's take the back off here. We have a two gigabyte micro SD card included, 512 megabytes of uh, storage in the ins on the inside so this phone is light when it comes to memory it has a 1500 milliamp battery the battery life for standby was outstanding this thing can go for a week more than a week just standing by guts on the inside we have a 600 megahertz Qualcomm processor but it has Adreno 200 GPU technology and that's what we can find in the new Windows Phone 7 devices in the original HTC Evo 4G. So it is a snappy little phone. It also has GPS and it has an accelerometer so we can play 3D games on this. Now let's jump into the tour with the Pantech crossover. Here's Pantech's first Android phone. Five home screens. And you can see how quick this little thing is, even with that 600 megahertz processor. Um, the drop down menu and from an aesthetic point of view I really like the design of this phone I like the rounded icons here um, I like the colors and another example of that is in the browser we'll jump in the browser here info sync and uh, it will not play flash content right within the browser but it will kind of kick you out like the iPhone does into its own player and that's cool that's totally okay and I'll show you the options here I just really like the design very minimalist um, but it's just different. It's a different feel I get with this phone than the rest of the crop of Android phones out there. We have All Sport GPS preloaded on this phone, and that is like your own personal trainer, kind of um, personal ass kicker. And um, this phone also comes with a compass, and that links up to its GPS technology. Okay. And we get some useful widgets here. And this is kind of a combination widget. We have um, events coming up, we have the weather, we have the time. And let's go over to uh, just the weather widget there. And you can see we have the um, animation in the background, the animated wallpaper. That is pretty nifty. This is our uh, kind of a status bar here. Messages and um, emails and phone calls. But we also have a Facebook and a Twitter widget so we could access them right from our home page, one of our home pages. Let's go right into weather. And here's that function key I was blabbing about. You press the function key and we have a list of all of our applications here and it's customizable. We could add whatever we want there. So quick access shortcuts pretty much. 
My InfoSync diagnosis with the Pantech crossover is a good one. I really like this phone. The battery life is fantastic. The feature set on this phone for a $70 phone is not bad at all. We get the full Android 2.2 Google experience. We get a full QWERTY keyboard, slide out QWERTY keyboard. And I love the design of this phone, octagonal, um, unconventional, rugged, industrial. So the only uh, things, the only gripes I had with this phone was the fact that um, it needed a better camera, by far. Uh, the screen resolution was not the best, could be a bit better and um, I'd like more memory out of the box. But, but until then, if you're an AT&T customer, 70 bucks for the Pantech crossover, not bad at all. You just have to decide if you want to spend $30 more on the HTC Inspire 4G, which is an amazing phone uh, compared to the crossover. So do the math. If you're more of a sport fanatic, go with the crossover. If you're a phone geek, go with the Inspire 4G, otherwise, crossover can't go wrong great phone for the full review go to www.infosyncworld.com until next time i'm mike perlman